Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I am your host Faraz and today we are solving the third question of Lead Code Weekly Contest 224. Name of the problem is largest submetrics with rearrangements. Okay. So let us go through the problem statement first and then try to build the solution step by step. We have a matrix of M cross N size and we are allowed to rearrange the columns. Now after the rearrangement we have to tell the maximum area rectangle of 1. So basically the matrix contains zeros and 1 and we can rearrange the columns here and after the rearrangement so in this example we uh, swapped the column number 1 with the column number 2 and this is the rearrangement that we obtained and here the maximum area rectangle of 1 is uh, of size 4 so let us look at it here is the example we swapped this column with this one after the swap this is what we obtained as we can rearrange the columns now after the rearrangement the maximum area rectangle is ending at the row number 3 and it is of size 4 okay so how we can proceed with this so what we can do is we can try uh, finding all the possible rearrangements and after that we can check them one by one and try to maximize the global answer but then it is going to take a lot of time so we have to find out a strategy to solve this so let us go through this one by one so first of all we are looking at this example so here let us say we have to find the submetrics or the maximum area rectangle which is ending at the row number 1. So that submetrics is ending at the row number 1. So what we can do? We can completely forget about the rest of the rectangle as we don't have to go below the row number 1. So we are left with 1 0 0 1. So this is the matrix that we have now. So what we can do is we can swap the row number 1 uh, with the row number 3 I mean the column number 1 with the column number 3 or what we can do is we can swap the column number 2 with the column number 4 so if we swap these two then the arrangement will be 1 1 0 0 and the maximum area rectangle which is ending at the row number 1 is of size 2 after the rearrangement of these columns okay so this is clear we are clear about proceeding uh, we are clear about the row number one now what about the maximum area rectangle which is ending at the row number two so if we are looking for these two rows we can forget about the rest of the rows which are row number three and four so we have one one zero one zero one and one zero so this is what we have now we have to rearrange this okay so uh, we can rearrange I think we don't have to rearrange anything because the maximum that we can obtain is this this one and it is of size 3 and even after the rearrangements okay so this is the best that we can get 3 let us go to the next row so we have to find the maximum area rectangle which is ending at the row number 3 for that let me just clear this out yeah so now we have 1 1 1 and 0 1 0 0 1 1 and 1 0 1 okay so now what we can do we can bring this one over here so this is 1 1 1 and 0 1 1 and then we can bring this one 1 0 1 and then finally this will be left which is 0 1 0 okay so the best that we can get is of size 4 so basically we are looking at the consecutive ones which are ending at a specific row so for this particular example when we are considering three rows so the consecutive ones which are ending here is three consecutive ones which are ending at the row number three these are two for this it is one only because only uh, because there is a zero between these two ones so there is only one number of one and for this one there is zero so now we have this by this we mean that we have three number of ones here we have two number of ones here we have only one one here and then zero one here so we have to find this area now this area of histogram we have to maximize this area of histogram so basically what we can do is we know the width as we are proceeding to the right we are increasing the width and as we are proceeding to the right we are decreasing the heights if we sort them if we sort this as it is already sorted so after sorting if we go to the right side we can see that we are increasing the width but at the same time we are decreasing the height 
so when we are at this position so the height is 3 and the width is 1 so the area is 3 now we proceed to this particular place the width become 2 the width is increasing and the height becomes 2 as well because we have to take the minimum height then only we will be able to cover this rectangle so the height of this particular position will be the height of the rectangle and the width will be 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 then we move to the right now the width is 3 the width is increasing and the height is further reduced to 1 so the height in this case is 3 we are not going to maximize the answer next we will go to 0 the height becomes 0 but the width becomes 4 so in this case also uh, there is no increment th there is no change in the final answer which is 4 so what we are doing is we are going row by row so let us say if we are talking about the rectangles which are maximally rectangles which are ending at this particular row then we only have to look at this row and we have to look at all the consecutive ones which are ending at this row so here it will be 1 0 0 1 only because there is only 1 1 which is ending here so we have something like this 1 then 0 then 0 then again a 1 so we can simply sort them as we discussed we can sort it out so after the sort we will obtain 1 1 0 0 so the same thing we can do here when we are here the height is 1 and the width is 1 so the answer is 1 when we are at this particular position the width is 2 and the height is 1 so the answer is 2 okay now we are going to the row number 2 which are to we are talking about the rectangles which are ending at this particular position so for this one we will have to look the consecutive ones which are ending here so it is 2 for this particular column it is 1 for this particular column it is 1 again it is 0 here and for this it is already sorted we don't have to sort it so let me depict it this is 2 this is 1 this is again 1 this is 0 we can do the same thing here we are here the height is one, height is 2 the width is 1 so the maximum area is 2 I mean the area is 2 when we are here the height is 1 but the width is 2 so the answer is 2 when we are here the width is 3 but the height is 1 and the answer is 3 now let us talk about the fourth row so let me just make some space for the fourth row for this one also we have to count the consecutive ones which are ending at the fourth row so for the first column this is 4 for the second column it is 1 for this column it is 3 and for this column it is 0 we have to sort it uh, so after the sort 4 3 1 and 0 this is what we obtained now if we depict it in the form of histogram it is 4 this one is 3 this one is 1 and this is 0 so now we are going to calculate the areas so for the first position the width is 1 the height is 4 so the area will be 4 for the second position the height is 3 and the width is 2 so the area is 6 so this is the maximum till now so this will be the final answer if you go further to the right so the width will be 3 but the height will reduce to 1 so it will be 3 only so going further to the right will not be advan uh, will not give us any advantage because uh, we know that it is in decreasing order it is sorted in decreasing order and as we are uh, although we are increasing the width wait a second it might be of advantage also because sometimes uh, it might be possible that we have so many ones over here and it might exceed the area 6 yeah so we have to check till the end alright I made some mistake while explaining but we will have to check till the end because sometimes it might be possible that uh, the height is not reducing it is constant the height is constant and the width might be increasing so maybe the width goes up to let's say 100 and the height remains 1 so the area will be 100 okay so we will have to check till the end so I hope you understand it so how did we proceed with it we went row by row so for each row we will find the consecutive ones which are ending at this particular row okay after that we will sort them we will rearrange them and by sort I mean we will sort them in decreasing order so we will start from the first position there the height will be maximum and when we go to the second position the height will might reduce but the width will increase so like uh, so this way we will proceed till the end we will keep increasing the width and the height will keep on decreasing or it might remain constant but it, it will never increase so this is a greedy strategy which we are implementing here so now let us go to the code and it might make it more clear and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this matrix uh, which will give me so instead of this matrix I will try to convert it into the matrix which will give me the consecutive ones which are ending at each particular row so for this particular matrix I'm going to make another matrix 
so the for, for the first row it will give me 1 0 0 1 for the second row it will give me 1 it will give me 2 for this particular column because there are two consecutive ones which are ending at this particular row so 2 for here it is only 1 here it is 1 again then here it is 0 okay for this row it is 3 here it is 0 because the consecutive ones there is no consecutive one here so it is 0 here there are two consecutive ones which are ending at third row so 2 and here it is 1 for this one it is 4 because there are four consecutive ones for this row it is 1 again for this row it is uh, it is 3 and for this one it is 0 so this is what I'm going to do here first of all let me take n as m dot size m is the matrix and int okay let me name it as mat matrix m is equal to matrix dot zero dot size it is going to give me the width of the matrix now after this I will go to each row one by one yeah so for int i is equal to zero i is smaller than m i plus plus I'm going to each particular column and then I will proceed row by row so for int j is equal to 0 j is smaller than m j plus plus mm, j is smaller than n n is the number of rows okay alright we are going to all of the rows so if j is greater than 0 and uh, the number which is here is 1 so at this particular cell the number is 1 so for that I will have to take matrix of J comma I if this is 1 then matrix of J comma I is equal to matrix of J minus 1 uh, comma i plus one all right I hope you understand this because uh, we if uh, we are counting the consecutive ones for a particular column so for that we will look at the previous row so whatever is there in the previous row we will have to add one to that if this particular cell is containing one I hope it makes sense then after this we are done making our matrix now we have to arrange we have to sort each particular uh, row of the new matrix so we have to search row by row so for that what I'm doing is instead of uh, like uh, rearranging uh, sorting a row and then finding the answer I'm just simply sorting all of the rows at the same time and then I will uh, try to find the answer so for int i is equal to 0 i smaller than n i plus plus I'm going to each of the rows and then I will sort it so sort matrix of I this is the row dot begin comma matrix dot matrix of I dot end this is sorted now after this once we are done sorting all of these uh, rows what I have to do is let me take the global answer this is 0 initially for int hmm for int i is equal to 0 i is smaller than n i plus plus I'm going to each of the rows again then for each of the row I'm going to each of the column so as the row is sorted so for, for int j is equal to 0 j is smaller than m j plus plus now I have to keep track of the height so there, there's a height I think the height of the current cell will give me the height of the rectangle so it is going to limit the height of the rectangle the current cell because the current cell is going to be smaller than or equal to all the cells which are previous to this so the answer will be maximum of answer comma what is the width width is j plus 1 so j plus 1 multiplied by what is the height height is matrix of I comma J. This is going to limit the height. 
okay finally we can return the answer let us see if this is working or not line number 22 there is some runtime error okay I think this one oh we are not getting correct answer wait let me just see j plus one this is the width okay hmm uh, let me just try to print the matrix I am printing the matrix that we obtained after so I think the matrix is correct yeah yes so for the first it should be 0 0 1 it is correct this is 1 1 and 2 this is correct and then for the last one is it should be 2 0 and 3 this is correct the problem is here i is equal to 0 i is smaller than n i plus plus mm -hmm. after the sort let me print it so alright so we have to sort it in decreasing order so you are sorting it in increasing order let me just so to sort it in decreasing order we just have to do it r begin and r end alright I think now we are getting correct answer let me try to submit it and it is getting accepted now talking about the space and the time complexity so we are not using any extra space here we were only doing modifications in the matrix which is already given to us so there's no extra space only the variables are there so this is a constant space solution talking about the time so obviously we are going to each of the cell so in uh, so for that we are using m into n extra m into n time so the time complexity becomes also for this sort function we are going to each of the row and we are sorting each of the row so let us say there are n number of rows and in each row we have m number of columns so we are arranging m elements for each of the rows so this is m log of m so so this is it for the solution if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notifications to our regular videos thank you